What's going on everyone? I'm back with another cheat engine quick tip here. This one is about finding negative values and modifying them, okay? The difference between signed and unsigned integers, with signed integers being negative numbers, okay? I'm not going to go into all the details of that. After the video, if you want to learn more about that, then just find a video on YouTube with uh, that basically explains the differences between signed and unsigned integers, okay? But I just want to show you a couple of things to be aware of whenever you're looking for that. So you can go into Cheat Engine and you can search for a negative value, okay? And when you do that, oh, by the way, I have uh, Poker Night 2 up here, and as you can see, my current balance here is a negative 20,000, so that's what we're searching for here. We'll do a first scan, and we get two values here. The first value, just because I've already done this search and everything, has to do with the actual number you see on the screen here, not the value as it is in memory. So we're not going to worry about that one. So this is the value of negative 20,000 kind of represented in a positive means. And I know that makes no sense. You just have to really study up on... Uh, signed and unsigned integers, okay? But long story short, if you looked for 20,000, you got these results and you saw this value when you brought it down, you would be like, that's not the right thing. It is the right thing, okay? So what you could do if you wanted to make this a positive is just go ahead and double click this, okay? I'm gonna copy this. Double click it and make it the positive value that you want it to be, all right? Now we leave this and come back. There's our 150,000, okay? Now I put this ginormous number back in here again. And then we come back. And we're at negative 20,000 again, okay? It's just because of the way negative numbers are represented, all right? So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Now, the easier way that you can get into, well, I don't know if it's easier so much because this is a pretty easy method, um, I guess a way that makes more sense is to see these values as they exist um, or for their hexadecimal equivalent, okay? So this is what negative 20,000 looks like in hex. So if we did a new scan and we did it for this hexadecimal value, okay, we're going to find the same two values. And if you double click this, we see that the value, because that's what we searched for here, is the hexadecimal value. It's the same as this, all right? So what you could do now is um, uncheck hex, and you could say wh whatever you want your number to be. Let's say we want it to go up to 150,000, okay? Then you select hex. That'll give us the hex value right here of 150,000. Then you can copy that double click this and paste the hex value there in place of it. And when I do that, you'll see this one will change. The actual um, decimal value will change to what we want it to be, 150,000, okay? So let's say we wanted negative 80,000, okay? Check hex, copy, paste. So there you go. That's how you go between positive and negative uh, values. So for, if for some reason you wanted to make a positive value a negative value, this would be a way that you could do it. Converting it to hex is definitely the easiest way. Um, going from a negative value to a positive value isn't difficult. As you saw, you just double click it and then you make it the positive value that you want it to be. Okay. Obviously, the positive value possibility is not this high. So in other words, this looks like a positive number, but we cannot enter into this game a value of 4 billion, you know, 294 million, blah, blah, blah. All right. Once we get up into that range, it's registering it as negative values. Okay. So there is a ceiling for what you could enter for your positive value in this game here like this and other games as well <clears throat> so anyway one last thing to show you with this is that if you have um, Windows 7 
or you know any other calculator or whatever that you can do this kind of conversion with I like Windows 7's one that you know typically standard is how it comes out of the box but you can set it to programmer okay and you can enter your decimal number that you want 50,000 let's say we wanted that negative so you click that button which makes it negative then you just click hex here and there's the hex value it's the same thing that we're doing here we're just doing it in calculator okay and switching between these different means so that's another way that you can bring up values if you didn't want to do it in sheet engine for some reason like if you wanted to keep a value you searched for here without changing the search box you know what I mean um, just for your own like research purposes or whatever so anyway hope you found this video helpful um, watch my other cheat engine videos I just keep posting and posting them hoping to uh, be providing some value for those of you who are interested in this I absolutely love this program I still have a lot to learn myself but I definitely want to share what I can when I can hopefully it makes sense to some of you so thanks again for watching rate comment subscribe and I will see you in the next video